What really happened in Segovia at some point during the Renaissance was this. Henry II had a son. His name was Prince Peter. And Prince Peter had a nurse. And the nurse was holding the son on a balcony and by accident dropped him. And the son died. What's horrible about this is that is all we know. We don't know what happened to the nurse. We don't know, was there another son? There must have been. Segovia is still there. Uh, everything went on. What happened and what does it mean? That's what I love to find out when I write. So I wrote this piece, The Death of Prince Peter, Son of Henry II of Segovia. <clears throat> she dropped him. He slipped from his nurse's arms and fell from the battlements of the Alcazar. The sunlight was hot in the loops of the porticos in the church of San Milan, and the relics of San Benito hid in the cathedral. Stained glass disguised the blank sun into human colors, blue for hope, yellow for happiness, red for all the rest. The sugared loaves were prodded into place in the plaza, and the red and green lizards blinked into the shade the town poised for late afternoon the second day, the real one to unravel. Sheep nuzzled the hill and mustard flowered in the tiles of the church of the true cross. A boy was learning to love the feel of a girl's hair through his fingers, and the shadows of the aqueduct flowed over a trotting dog. They wrapped it in silk more red than poppies that human suckling the size of the pigs in the shop windows. The dead, even the human dead, are gods beyond us, powerless and amazing. The nurse vanished, unforgiven, except that her name is Air. All stories are sad. They can be happy if you stop them soon enough or less sad, even much less sad, if you tell the whole story. The king, the queen, the nurse, all dust. While so much is still here, the beggar's fingertips just touching sun from within the shade, the church still cool inside, the prince a tangle like a bird's nest inside a boy of stone.